today I'm going to show you about uh, ACM Port 16 uh, industrial potential static. So, uh, as you can see here, we have 16 channel of the instrument, and then now it's running on dummy test. So, the thing is, Port 16 is normally used for industry to do catalytic protection, coating disbondment, cracking, metal leaching, quality control and standard. If they have a standard test ASTM G42 and G8. So now it's, it's, uh, it's, it's on the software and it's running. If, if you can see here, it's reading channel 6 now. Uh, every channel it tests as, as uh, what we uh, set as a reading rate uh, one one minute see? so it's, it's uh, now it's reading and then at the end of the test you can stop no but normally they do this test about two weeks one month three months so it, it, it keep on running all the time uh, the, the best thing about this instrument the software is dedicated to do this potential uh, measurement. Uh, they call it fixed potential step for long-term measurement. So uh, for the for the normal one uh, potential potential step for the research or what is it just it just you know you have to go through all the software for the setting up and everything. But this one they have software dedicated. Just to do the potential step immediately without uh, too much setting. The output, you, have, you can see here, they have an output potential which have um, four separate uh, values. This is a minus uh, 1.5 volt and you also have a minus 1.05 volt. You have a 3.0 volt and also you have a 3. Point, minus 3.5 volts. So those are the channels that you fix and uh, it will automatically measure by port 16. And it's, it will show in the result over here. So it, it will take a measurement every every second uh, and then it will, it will have a reading data for the whole measurement uh, continuously and continuously continuously until you 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 stop it yourself you know you you you, you set and you, you want to stop it and you stop so if you let's say you you just change the channel now it's 1.5 1.5 volt and uh, you can see here 1.5 but if you now it's channel 14 okay i change this channel Okay, I go to 1.05 volts. So it would straight away uh, show here when it open back, calibrating now, reading channel one, yeah. So now it will show straight away the, the, uh, the new, the new measurement, the new wood, wood. Yeah, that's the wood, yeah. So all the, the four channel wood, is change so this this is the the best for the industry it's easy to use and then the setup is very simple the software is simple and then after that let's say you want to go for the analysis no uh, of course you have to uh, finish the experiment but and then after that, you save it the data, and then you can go into analysis, which is uh, something like this. So it shows you the the reading. Uh, this is the three D, three D scale, and it shows you the graph, how the graph plot, and you can always change this uh, into current versus time, and you can also change the unit current unit, yeah, you can have M, micro, micro M, and you can change this time also to, uh, it's already in seconds, so 
but if you want to change it to hours, you can change to hours. You know? And you can normally people use mini M depends on the uh, testing that you do and yeah, mini boot as well. So, but now it's current versus time to you. You want to use a uh, boot potential, then you change it back. So that's how it works. Uh, so much easy, and then this is a normal standard standard scale. Uh, It's overlapping one to one another, so you can't see it much with your guys. It's actually showing that, uh, but it's the best you can see here. You can see how it reads. And we also, also can print the data. They have a data in the, in the file. Uh, then let's say you want to see channel 10 yeah you have all the raw data here mm. and you can print it mm. so if you want to have channel 16 yeah this is channel 16 So that's it guys, I, I would like to suggest that if you have, uh, if you are in the industry, you know, you want to do a easy setup uh, for uh, cathodic protection, for coating, you know, so it's, it's the best instrument to use. Uh, and then it's, um, because you are using quite a while, maybe two weeks minimum to maybe six months maximum so the instrument is very reliable you don't have to worry about uh, too much about maintenance etc as long as you take care of it all right thank you guys